In stage 21 of pack 6 you get the slider rod which is the x-axis front, the 3SM timing pulley and the short M4 set screw. So as we've done before, take the rod, place the pulley over the rod and then simply using the set screw or grub screw with an Allen K just nip that up but don't over tighten it okay now another thing is that the fan that we fitted on the printer needs to be changed so that the cabling is facing to the bottom right whereas before it was pointing upwards so it needs to be facing the bottom right some of the fans may differ and it may actually stick to the bottom here all right, but as long as it's facing the bottom, that's absolutely fine. So undo the screws and move the motor around so that the cable is at the bottom right of the base of your assembly. In stage 22, you get the slider and an M4 set screw, which is an 8mm. As before, place the 8mm M4 set screw into the slider, like so, so that it's sticking out just a little bit. And then just place that over the shaft and put that aside for future stages. In stage 23 we are going to be fitting the 3 or the S3M short timing pulley to the shaft from the previous stage. So once again attach the pulley, just nip that up so that keeps that in one position. Okay. And then once we've done that, we are then going to be adding that to the assembly. Next, take your assembly, place it on its side like so, so it's easier to fit together. Take the two bearings, placing the bearings on either side, through the side, and then taking the shaft with the belts, making sure that the belts are the correct way around, placing one of the belts onto the pulley, and then feeding that through, like so. Once again, exactly the same for the other side. And holding the bearing in position. The bearing drops out as it's bound to. Placing that down like so, and then once you've done that, take the two screws and put the two screws on each end of the bearing, tightening that up into position. In stage 24 we're going to be assembling the bolt clamps which go onto the platings here which then connect to the belts which allow these to move backwards and forwards with the belts but the first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that all of these are lined up properly so that the shafts are directly over the belts 
and that these are in the right position so that obviously they're sitting downwards. Now follow the instructions carefully, okay, because um, it's a case of screwing the small plates which go in between the horseshoe sensors for the stop and the home positions, okay, so carefully follow the instructions and fit those into position and once you've done that you then clamp them down using the bob belt clamps that came with it, okay. Now as you can see we have that part in position and as you can see when you move it backwards and forwards using the belts it will then move into position. Okay. In the next stage we're going to be doing exactly the same for the other side. In stage 25 we're doing exactly the same as we did before but this time we're doing that on the x-axis limit switch whereas previously we did it on the y-axis. Okay so look very carefully, it's exactly the same as before, follow the instructions and then see how all that is attached.